In the previous two lessons, we covered automatic relations, and then we followed it with manually adding relations to an existing sketch. The next step is adding dimensions. In SOLIDWORKS, we call them smart dimensions. But before we get started, it's important to mention that most people agree the proper method or the proper order in creating a sketch is first, automatic relations, second, if necessary, manually add additional relations, and last, this is where your smart dimensions come into play. So basically, add your geometric relations first, followed by your dimensions. So let's begin. I am going to start a new sketch on the front plane. Then go into the line tool, select my first point, and notice when I stretch this line out, I'm receiving some feedback at the cursor. 83.74 millimeters. This is for reference only. If I left mouse click, it will not lock that line in at 83.74 millimeters. It's a smart dimension that will lock it down to a specific value. This 83.74 is for reference only. So for example, if I want the finished sketch line to be 80 millimeters, you just need to be in the ballpark, somewhere between 75 and 85. So I'm gonna go ahead and left mouse click, escape out of the line command. Notice if I grab the end of the line, I can make it longer or shorter because that number was for reference only. However, if I add a smart dimension, I select the middle of the line, pull a dimension off, and then place the dimension, I can key in the correct value. Now, even though this is a dialog box, in SOLIDWORKS we refer to this as a spin box because we have the spin wheel to change the value. Or we have the up down arrows but most people key in the value. So I'll key in 80 and then click the green check mark. I'll close out of the dimension command and notice I can move the line, but I can't change the length. It's locked down to 80. If I want to change that 80, I simply double click on the number and key in the new value. Now you may have noticed when I was applying that smart dimension, I was having a little difficulty because it kept bouncing back and forth between the true length that you see here and linear values, a vertical distance or a horizontal distance. So at times this gets very jumpy. Well, notice at my cursor, I have a graphic of a mouse and the right mouse button is highlighted. So once you get the orientation or the dimension you are looking for, let's say the vertical, you can right mouse click. From that point on, no matter where you move the cursor to, you will only receive a vertical distance. You key in the correct value, click the green check mark, and now we have a 60 vertical dimension. I'm gonna close out of the dimension command. I'm gonna create a circle. Notice once again, that radius is for reference only. I'll go to the smart dimension command. We call it smart dimension because when you select a piece of geometry, SOLIDWORKS knows what type of dimension you need. Notice I have a diameter of 91.83. I can key in the correct value and then click the green check mark. Let's say I dimension from the center point to this end point. And I set this value to be 200. And then I realize at a later time, this point of this dimension should have been over here. Well, I can drag this point to this new location. Retype the 200, and notice how you can adjust the dimension or reposition the dimension. Lastly, notice this gave me a diameter 100. Let's say I wanted the output to be a radius. You simply right mouse click on it, and near the bottom of this menu, you will see display options display as radius. And notice we now have a radius output.